All right, so I'm having a little problem with technology. Sorry, it took me a little while. We are going to draw this three-quarter view now. Now that we have the basis for the um, neck and the head, I am going to use a different color pen today. I'm going to use purple. And what I'm going to map out is this area right here. I'm going to do a curvature of where that cross section is of the nose and the mouth. It's slightly curved. And I'm trying to kind of put a little guideline here of where I think the eyes are nice and light. You're doing this in pencil. I'm doing it in pen so you can see it in a different color. Then I had to figure out where the nose goes. The nose is going to be right about here. And the mouth right about here. And looking at that um, portrait of the young lady. Now the ear will be from here to the eye. So I'm kind of jotting down some guidelines. Robert, am I going too fast? I want everyone to give me a um, yes with the participation, and we'll see if that's working today. So I can make sure I'm not going too fast. Yes. You could miss my, my mic isn't working. Oh, your mic's not or mine is? Mine wasn't working. Oh. No, you're good. So... For some reason, the count is like all over the place. It'll say I had 10 people and then it goes away to zero. So thank you. So now we have the curvature, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and then two little tick marks. The ear is usually between the the nose mark and the eye. And I'm looking in, and I would say I'm going to kind of frame it in like an oval in uh, this shape right here for the ear. And then I'm going to kind of try to draw those those little detail lines on my ear. It's not going to be perfect. I'm doing this in pen, so it's much more of a commitment. You guys are lucky you have pencil and you can draw lightly. I don't have that luxury. And once you've mapped that out, you can kind of decide where the hairline is. To me, the hairline looks kind of like this and it kind of slopes down. So I'll give you a minute or two to work on that. Now I'm going to do there's like a little bunnage in the back. And I think her head's a little bit higher right here and right here. Just kind of making some adjustments. You do the little wispies. Her part kind of goes like this. So I gotta make some adjustments. Always making adjustments to make it more accurate. Now what I've realized is this line for the eyes is too high. It's almost like that's where the eyebrows should be. So I'm gonna do another guideline slightly lower and that's going to be my eye line you do yours based on what is appropriate for your drawing i can't really see where your drawing is but that gave me a little guideline for my eyebrows and that's okay you always make adjustments it's more important to put the adjustments and draw things in the right spots than to have everything in the wrong place so constantly tweaking and adjusting is a part of this. 
we're going to talk about how to draw eyes, noses, and mouths and really get accurate with it. These are quick little head drawings so that you, I feel like it's going to matter to you more now that we're doing all these kinds of details. But the general head was what we've been working on. We're going to talk about anatomy a lot of the eyes, nose, and the mouth for the rest of the week. Then we're going to talk about the full figure, the whole body, in the body in motion. And then we can talk about the features of the hands. And everything, again, broken down into small shapes and guidelines. So now that I have all that, I feel like we're ready. I'm going to draw the eyebrow because... I feel like it frames the face. And I noticed this one, the eyebrow touches the side of the face. I'm also kind of working on the side of the, the head. There's It goes in and out. And I'm gonna work on the jawline. Just to make sure I'm happy with the placement of things. My jaw is not going out enough, so I need to build that outward a bit. You can see all my adjustments, my modifications. I forgot to do this little part of the neck. Mine's not perfect, but I'm getting there. I'm trying. So we're building off of those basic shapes and constantly tweaking. Let me know when I'm ready. To move on. I don't want to go too fast. A little yes. Okay. How are you doing, Robert? I'm good. I'm just finishing up the filler details. I'll wait a little longer. I feel like Robert's the happy medium. He doesn't go fast, he doesn't go slow, he's somewhere in the middle. So now I'm going to do some ovals. Uh, yeah. No, I lied. I'm going to do circles. So this is a circle here for the eyeball. And here for the other eyeball. When we don't have skin on our faces and muscles, we got eyeballs. If you took away our eyelids, we got eyeballs, big round balls, okay? And then we need to uh, have irises. So I'm going to draw an example here. I'm going to draw an eyeball, a little bit bigger here. Here's the iris. Here's the pupil. Yes, you need to draw this as well. If I'm drawing it, you're drawing it. This is how I know you're actually watching these videos. And we're going to go into further depth about this, but for now, this is what we're doing. Now we have a skull under this flesh. I'm going to rip off my flesh. And under these muscles. And the eyeballs are in the eye sockets. But if I look down and I had no muscles or flesh, my, you know, eyeballs would fall out of my head if I didn't have those eyelids. These eyelids, they hold my eyeballs in my head. So you would have an eyelid that holds your eyeball in place like so. Please draw that. Notice the eyeball can't be um, seen past those little points. We want to keep those eyeballs in our heads. So now I have to look at this here, figure out where the iris is and the pupil. 
goes around. I really give looking time. And a pupil for this weird lady who has no eyelids, so it's far. Creepy. Now, I got to do the eyelid. So, I notice where the line is of her lash line here. Kind of goes like this. And then it goes down like so. We don't see that whole eyeball. Yours is going to look better than mine. Because you're not doing it in pen. And then I'm going to look at the other one. Give looking time. Really try to get the shapes right. I will do a zoomed in shot of these kinds of things later, but I can't right now. Pretty happy with that. I notice my eyebrow needs to be longer. I gotta make some adjustments. And now I'm gonna do the nose. I had to think about this diagonal of the nose right here. It kind of curves and it goes down like this. So I'm practicing that curve. I would say it goes something like this. And to me, I'm just gonna make a weird um, horizontal oval here because I feel like it's kind of that shape. Let me get my black pen so you can see more detail. Where did it go? There it is. Let's see if I can zoom in some more for you. And now that I have that oval, I can kind of gauge where this little eh, goes. Oh, I don't, you can't really see that. And then the little curve to the side of the nostril. And this kind of goes down like that. If I did this in pencil, it would be better. I'm so sorry. Just look at the reference and try to draw this as best as you can. It's a little curved right here. Yours is going to look better than mine. I feel like I drew my chin too, too harsh. So I'm going to adjust that some more. Always make adjustments if something doesn't look right. Now, how do I explain this? We're going to talk about the lips in just a minute. You always want to break things down into basic shapes. This is not a front profile lip. It's a three-quarter view, so it's a little tricky. I'm breaking them into basic shapes. I'm going to draw it on the side here. You're going to practice this with me. I'm going to do a long, skinny oval. And then I'm going to draw this shape. It's a little bit more dominant on one side than the other. And then this shape here. That's kind of how her lips are. It's a little archier on the top, if you look at this. But it's like that little, oh, it's almost like a sideways tear. And this is a longer sideways tear shape. So I'm going to try to draw that here. This and this and the little oval shape here. Mine looks hideous because I'm using pen. And then I'm going to draw the little chin line. There's like a little curve under her chin. I'm going to try this in pencil in the future with you guys. I thought it would be more visible this way, but I don't like the way it looks.
Robert, let me know when you're done. I'm gonna work on my eyebrows while I'm waiting. I don't like the way they look. I'm gonna put some more meat on my eyebrows. This one needs more meat too. I feel like her hairline is too high, so I'm gonna drop that down. I'm making adjustments. I want it to look just like the picture as best as I can. You have to make adjustments too. Give her a little more bunnage. I feel like she needs a longer neck, so I'm gonna adjust that. Don't just settle with the first thing you put a line down with. Make adjustments. If they need adjustments, put them in. That shows me you care and you're making the effort. You're supposed to draw light till it's right. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm gonna move on to the next one. But I don't know if you guys are ready. Somebody needs to tell me. I finished Miss Brown. Good. So am I going too fast? I'm going good. You're good. So now I'm gonna move over to the next image. Ooh. Straightforward. Boom. Front profile. This one should be easier than three-quarter view. I'm going to see if I can do a pencil because I didn't like how the pen was working. If I can find a sharpened pencil, that would be nice. All right. So this one, we're going to draw a vertical line nice and light down the middle. So we have that cross-reference. Now, this line right here is not halfway, it's, uh, right about here, I would say. Like a cross. Then I had to put the little line for the nose, which is usually between the circle, the two circles. And then the mouth is usually right about here. So that's three lines that I've added. And the ear is going to be at the same level as the nose. So I'm putting these two little tick marks to help me shape the ears. Let me know when you're done with all that. Some of you are ready and you're probably waiting and bored. So let's draw the ears. Ears are kind of ear easy. It's kind of like a half heart, but it goes in a little bit more at the top and down. Ooh, I don't like how I did this ear. I'm gonna make some adjustments. Gotta be sharpen my pencil. Let me know when you guys are done. Robert, you're still not done? No, I'm done. Okay. I'm just adding little like finishing details sure i feel like i drew this line too dark and big so i'm gonna thicken that thin it out right here oh my goodness the lead fell off of my pencil i cannot win i swear <laughs> i miss my electronic pencil sharpeners in the classroom <laughs> 
back in my day, I used to have electronic stuff. Sometimes the technology would actually work. Working from home is harder, but safer for now, which is fine. Sorry, guys. Okay. So this one, we're going to do the eyeball again. Same story. It's a circle, another circle, and another circle. It's like a target. Okay. So we're going to draw that first. I'm looking at this, and I actually want to do the hairline first just to frame the face and make sure I'm happy with it. So to me, I'm looking and the hairline kind of goes like this. There's a little part on the side and then it goes down like this. I want to frame my whole face before I put in the details to make sure I'm putting them in the right spots. And I made my head kind of fat. So I'm going to darken it up and put things in the placement where I really want them. I'm just trying to skinny out her head. Because I started off with big balls and then I'm kind of skinning out the ears making it as best the way I want it, nice and dark, when I'm happy with the placement. I'm pretty happy with that. Some adjustments. And then I wanna figure out the where the eyebrows should be. I would say the eyebrows kinda like this and like this. I start off with basic lines and then I thicken them up. Pretty happy with that. And then I'm gonna put in my eyeballs. I feel like my guideline was a little too high for the eyeball, but at least I, I'm looking and I'm figuring out the placement. So my eyeball is probably like this and like this. Ooh, creepy, she kinda looks like a robot. And then I'm gonna do the iris. My pencil is all funky, forgive me. I can't get anything right with my pen and pencil. But I'm doing the best I can with the tools I have. Ooh, those are scary. It's like wonky, my pencil's wonky. I gotta sharpen it some more. I did these drawings too small. Learning curve. Okay, now it's finally getting sharper. And I'm going to make some changes because the pupils look a little scary. All right. And then I have to draw where I think the eyelid goes. And we're going to do more details, better ones for large scale eyes. This is scary. This is not as good as it should be. I'm so sorry. I'm going to do it over here so you can see. So you want it to kind of go down and around like this. That's a better view. So sorry. And there's a tear duct. We're going to talk about that more later. Right now we're just trying to get the bare bones. Let me know when you're done, Robert. I want you to draw the side eye as well. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not perfect. That's okay. Your teacher's not perfect. I'm done. Cool. I don't like my jawline, so I'm going to fix it up to match more like the lady in the picture. I feel like she has a little bit more side jaw. Ooh, I made it a little too square. Maybe like this. So I'm just trying my best to get her framed in and matching the image. On this, I would say her nose, there's like a little eh, right there. And her eyebrows arch down. 
And I didn't get that right, so I'm gonna use my eraser. I'm gonna do some tweaks. That eyebrow looks more her shape and build up a little higher. So this one looks too curved, so I'm gonna change that. And that's okay, guys. You, you're lucky you have erasers. I was working in a pen earlier, that was hard. So I gotta arch it and just try to get it right. You want it right and accurate as best as you can. And so I'm gonna do that little side eh, to the nose. Mine's not perfect, but I'm trying. It's all about effort. Now back to the lip. I like to do the easy things first. Just like with the other lip, there was like that little oval. I'm gonna practice that here. The bottom lip is like a skinny oval shape. It's kind of pointy. And then it looks something like this and this. Maybe it arches down a little bit more on the top. So I'm practicing it on the side here first before I commit to doing it on the actual piece. So I'm gonna start with, so I want you guys to draw that. Practice it. And then we're going to commit to it here. Can I start, Robert, or am I going too fast? You could start. Okay. So I'm going to do that, that skinny oval here as best as I can on this tiny little picture of mine. And then I'm going to do that one curvature here and the other one right here. And look at the image and just kind of try your best to make the adjustments. If it needs to be skinnier in some places or whatnot. And I'm also going to add the chin. There's like a little chin underneath that lip. I did it too dark. Some of you are probably drawing way better than me. You're going to school me. Oh, I can see my eyebrow is so not right on this side. That's more of an arch here okay I make adjustments I you know some things will stand out later let me know when you're done That's some good tea to do. We're still not done, Robert? Still adjusting? Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Now the nose, I'm just going to do like the little arch on both sides. And then there's like a little side nostril. And we're done. And we could take a photograph of that. There's like a little shadow right here. You can do that too. While you guys are working, I'm going to post the proof of practice on my other computer. This will be due at 3 p.m. I've decided 3 p.m. I don't care when your class is. You're, everybody's out of school by, um, you know, 2 o'clock. So that gives you a solid hour um, if you needed to do anything and student support. And as long as it's done by 3 o'clock. Because that's when I was reading the input. A lot of times it was timing. Um, and obviously... I told you I don't want to be doing late work and dealing with that anymore. So that's how I've solved the riddle is giving everyone from every class three o'clock is the due date. No if, ands, or buts about it. And it helps me not have to type in all the different times. So 
I'm still reading through those, but I think that should solve a lot of the struggles. Extra time is always a good thing, but we have to be within reason. Somebody is writing something to me in the chat. <sighs> Let me write you back. So, but I've given you class time, Leroy. Um, yeah, as long as it's the same day, if you have work, but you know, it's really supposed to be three o'clock. Okay. Um, but usually I don't grade it till the next day, but I have to have a, a actual time. I can't be wishy-washy. I mean, if you're, if you do it later that day, you'll probably be, be okay, but I'm not saying yes as a, you should be doing it during class time with the rest of the kids. So I got to concentrate and put this in real quick, and then I can answer more questions, Leroy. That's okay. But I think you should be fine, Leroy. But I'm just saying to everyone, 3 o'clock. Done. Time stamped. Boom. Uh, this fourth period. I mean, I want to be helpful and reasonable, but I have to draw a line somewhere. So that's... If I'm wishy-washy, then people are going to mess with me, and I don't want people taking advantage. Grading is hard enough when you got 200 and something kids. So when I'm giving class time, that's being more than reasonable. So I'm making this for today, and it's due at 3 p.m. Timestamp done. Okay, you got a couple of minutes to turn it in now, or you can turn it in before 3 p.m. If you, if it's not exactly 3 o'clock, as long as it's the same day, I'll be pretty reasonable with you, okay? Not the next day. So there's that gray area of, of I hope you understand what I'm saying. All right, Leroy. Leroy. Did you get a new job? Where at? Ooh, do you like it more than the other job? Good. Well, you all have a great day. Take care. Be good. Stay safe. Bye. Have a good day, Miss Brown. Thank you. Have a good day. Sorry it took me so long today. I'm so embarrassed.